Yo, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Malik. And today we have another skate tutorial for you guys. And we are going to take it to the basics. Today I will be teaching you how to stop. There's a certain way that you stop with your skates. Once you get your own skates, you don't have to use your stoppers. And this is called the T-stop. And I will also be teaching you how to backwards skate all in one video. This is a highly requested tutorial for myself and others. I've been wanting to do this for so long to teach people how to slow down with their skates instead of using their stoppers as well as teaching them how to backward skate but without further ado i'm not going to go ahead and drag this too long let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial make sure you follow my instagram at jb skate chicago and life of malik you'll see real versions on life of malik and we out all right welcome to the video today guys and today we will be learning how to t-stop and backward skate the first move we are going to start with is learning how to t-stop if you don't know what a T-stop is, you've seen a demonstration at the beginning of the video. Now a T-stop is the most common way for skaters to slow down. Usually when you are in your earlier stages of learning how to skate, you are most likely using your toe stoppers. What if there was another way for you to slow down? Oh wait, there is another way for you to slow down. It's called a T-stop. So the first thing you need to know when you are learning how to T-stop is the foot pattern. Your feet are going to be in the motion of a T. So you can T-stop with your left or your right foot. So as you can see, I'll put a demonstration box in a small window over here so that you can see how my foot is positioned. But we are going to go ahead and put our feet in a T shape. You can do it with either side, whichever your strongest leg is should be the leg that's gonna be stopping you and slowing you down. So for me, my left leg would be my strongest leg. So I will be turning my leg towards the left and it'll be facing perpendicular from my right leg. This is gonna be the formation that you have to hold when you are doing the T-stop. I'll show you a couple demonstrations and then we can move forward. One key fact that you need to hold in your head when you are doing a T-stop is that you are dragging your feet. And when I say dragging your feet, you're not gonna be dragging your feet like, oh, you know, like on the side of your wheels. You are lightly going to press your feet on the ground to where you can hear a little screeching sound. The screeching sound will be an indication that you are using your truck setup and the bottom of your wheel to slow you down. Your wheels roll forward. So what happens when you bring them sideways? It kind of keep it in a lock in motion and slows you down. Once again, you are going to have a T-shaped motion. And the way you are going to drag it is you are simply gonna come across and come to a T-shape and lightly press it on the ground. You are going to come into a T-shape and lightly press it on the ground. Let's try it one more time. It's gonna take a couple tries for you to learn this. Don't give up on it, stay dedicated and practice it. And this will be an easy technique that will become like walking to you. It is such an easy technique that every skater should know how to do. This is definitely one of those techniques that's gonna allow you to go as fast as you want to get off the floor and slow down before you get to the wall. Once again, you are going to come in a T pattern as shown and you are lightly going to press your feet down to the ground you're not gonna plant your foot down you are gradually going to graze the ground to where it makes a locking motion you hear that that is what's gonna help you slow down and stop and that is how you do the t-stop all right now so now we are going to learn how to backwards skate now backwards skating isn't so hard. It's only when you put the thought process into it that scares you. Once again, it's easy to roll forward. When you're thinking about rolling backwards, the first thing that's coming to your mind is, oh snap, I'm going to fall backwards. First thing I would tell you to do is remove that fear from your mind. I'm going to be showing you three different ways 
that you can learn how to backward skate. I will teach you from easiest to hardest. Let's start with the first type of way to backward skate. I called it the jellyfish. In order to do this, you will bring your legs in a jellyfish motion. You would typically be opening and closing your leg as a jellyfish would. I'll show you a demonstration and then we'll go through it. Seem easy enough, right? The good thing about doing a jellyfish when you are backward skating is that when you become an advanced backward skater, you can learn how to fast backwards by doing the jellyfish and keeping your speed up. So I really recommend that you learn how to do the jellyfish so that you can learn how to fast backwards in the near future. Now the second way to learn how to backward skate is simply a crossover. You are going to cross your right leg over your left foot and you are going to cross over again with your left leg over your right foot. Sounds simple, but let me show you a demonstration. looks easy enough right here's the trick to that when you are crossing your right leg over your left and your left leg over your right when you are crossed over the leg that is going to be behind the leg that's crossed over is going to be the leg that's going to push you off so here's an example when you are crossing over with your right leg and you have your left leg in the back you're simply going to just push off and it should start rolling for you so let's do it with the left leg crossing the right gonna cross over push off see I just started rolling this is gonna help you create your momentum so that you can start rolling once again I'll show you another demonstration one two three four Seem easy enough, right? Now the third way to learn how to backward skate, which is what I believe everybody eventually learns when they're trying to backward skate, is more so a left, right, right, left motion, and you are just angling your feet to go into a direction while pushing yourself backwards. Let me show you a demonstration. seems easy enough right so now the trick behind this is that you have to have your feet in a pattern to move left and right imagine my hands being my feet you are going to bring your left foot and you are going to angle it to the left and then you're gonna have your right foot follow by angling it to the left and then in order to keep the motion going you are going to angle your right foot to the right and have your left foot follow to the right as well so once again I'll show you another demonstration you are going to move your left foot to the left and your right foot to the left and then you are going to proceed to push off with your toe on your left side and angle your right foot to go to the right so one two one two one Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Let's go ahead and watch my feet once more. One, two, one, two, one, two.
two, one, two. Now you see my feet constantly going on my toes and it's constantly sound like it's smacking up and down. You do not have to raise your feet that high. It should just be a gentle and natural motion. So I'll show you the gentle and natural motion that I'm talking about. So it should simply just be a brush off. This is to steer you. When you go on your toes and turn, it should naturally just turn you as you turn your feet. just be a gentle motion and that guys is how you backward skate thank you guys for tuning into this video if this video has helped you learn how to slow down and stop as well as backward skate feel free to give it a like make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you hit that bell so you never miss a video upload you'll be notified every time i drop a video and share this video with your friends and family and other skate friends thank you guys for tuning in and you guys have a blessed and wonderful day we out